Hey what's going on guys, my name is CarQ and today I'm going to be giving you a concise guide on how to play and approach the new Mercy 2.0 in about 5 minutes. Now I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know how to play Mercy that well, so I gathered the information and insight for this video from a few of the top Mercy players I know, Aspen, Vale, and EVA. Be sure to give them all a follow. An easy way to structure this is to go with the who, what, when, where, why, how format, or the 5w1h. So let's get started. For the what questions, what is Mercy's role with her new changes? Similar to the old version, Mercy 2.0 is still a primary healer, and arguably even better at doing this job due to her new ultimate Valkyrie, giving her chain healing on anybody within 10 meters of your tethered ally. And yes, the healing and damage boost is the same and doesn't weaken based on the number of teammates connected. Obviously with her new res changes, her role is to assess the team fights on who and when to res for maximal value and tempo. What settings should you use? Here are Eevee's Veils and Aspen's settings and I would recommend what Eevee and Veil use and not Aspen's. Toggle Beam On allows you to take the tension off your fingers from holding down the button and allows you to direct more attention to the team fights. Guardian Angel prefers Beam Off to give you movement freedom and allow you to fly towards different allies while maintaining the initial beam. Having this setting on is only recommended if you really know how to play with the benefit of being able to fly back to your tethered ally without line of sight. Toggle Guardian Angel should be off to allow you to simply let go of your ability to stop your flight compared to the extra step it requires to stop and start if the setting were on. It helps with reacting quicker if you need to stop immediately, and it allows you to simply hold the button down if you need to fly to an ally that is only in line with sight for a few frames. The sensitivities are at your discretion. Who do you prioritize for the new single target res? If you want the short answer and you find yourself conflicted on who to res in a hectic team fight, go for a tank. A, they can create space for your team and have a bigger health pool to stay alive longer. And B, since tanks take more damage, you can build your Valkyrie up much faster with them. The long answer is that this is very situational, as it's entirely dependent on who can provide the best value in the current situation. It may not be the answer you're looking for, but that's the truth. Perhaps you need to res Lucio first because he has sound barrier, or bring Genji back into the fight if he has his dragon blade, or you need to bring back Winston so he can stall on the point. When do you res your teammates? Again, the when to res ties back to the whole who to res question answered earlier. Try to bring back someone who will provide the best value. When do you use your ultimate Valkyrie? This is usually used when a team fight breaks out. Ideally, you'd want to use res, pop Valkyrie, and get a second res right away. Another appropriate situation to use Valkyrie is if you've died and need to quickly get back to your team that's far away. The Enhanced Guardian Angel distance and speed is seriously insane. Another example would be to use the free flying mechanic to dodge key enemy abilities if you have no other option or teammate to fly to. When do you play the new Mercy? In my opinion, you should choose Mercy as a primary healer in every single game right now in her current state. Think about it this way, if you choose Mercy and the enemy team doesn't, you are effectively playing this game as a 7 vs 6 right from the start. When do you heal vs damage boost? You should prioritize healing, but seriously do not underestimate the power of damage boost. As a quick tip, the damage boost applies when your teammate's damage connects on an enemy. For example, Farah could shoot her rocket while being healed, but if Mercy can quickly switch to damage boost before the rocket connects on an enemy, the bonus damage will still apply. On top of this, many Mercy players seriously underestimate the value of the ultimate charge you earn while damage boosting allies. The amount of bonus damage an ally does is granted an ultimate charge in the same ratio as Mercy's pistol. Doesn't seem like much, but how about this? What if you damage boost huge ultimates like Whole Hog or Rocket Barrage? Ah, yeah, just some food for thought. Keep that in mind. Where should you play Mercy? She's viable on every single map right now, and in terms of where you should position with her, play either with the hero you're pocketing, and ultimately in the safest position possible by dynamically jumping from hero to hero with Guardian Angel. Why pick Mercy every game? Well, compare Mercy and Ana right now, arguably the two best quote-unquote primary healers. If Ana takes a bit of damage, she has to rely on a secondary healer, health kit, or her own personal biotic grenade to top herself off. Plus, she's stuck on the ground. Mercy has the benefit of self-sustain with her self-healing passive, chain healing with Valkyrie, and extreme mobility with the new Guardian Angel which allows her to slingshot all over the place. How do you play the new Mercy? The easiest way to describe her playstyle is like a waiter at a restaurant. Mercy is the waiter and you need to meet the needs of every guest quickly moving from table to table. Guardian Angel should rarely be off cooldown, so keep moving with heals and damage boost to make yourself harder to track by the enemy. When you use Valkyrie, try playing high in the air to increase the distance between you and the enemy while keeping your chain beam on your teammates. Drop off damage and your passive self heal always ticking will make it very hard for you to die from Soldier or McCree. Now before we end this video, here are some Mercy tips and tricks. 
Number 1. Learn how to slingshot. With the new changes to her guardian angel, Mercy can now conserve her momentum when flying to a teammate by letting go of the ability earlier and pressing jump or angelic descent right away. This allows you to situationally move quicker, move past your teammate, and starts the Guardian Angel cooldown earlier so you have it available faster when you need to reposition. The second tip ties into how to apply the slingshot technique. If you find yourself flying in for a risky res and feel like you have no escape, try this technique to begin the cooldown earlier while still on the way to the dead body. By the time you reach and res the ally, your Guardian Angel should be ready to fly back to another ally to reposition yourself safely. I call this a drive-by res with the slingshot technique technique. And that's it. That's as much information as I could pack in the shortest amount of time possible. Thank you to the special guests who helped me with this video. Seriously, go watch them stream some of the best Mercy gameplay you've ever seen, and I'll catch you guys next time.